Hey guys and welcome to Trail Makers with me Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. <laughs> so, okay, we need to stop here. Uh, you guys have been leaving me some pretty good information in the comments down below. Uh, apparently there is a magnet somewhere in the game. Oh, I guess it's not somewhere. But I've been told that it's on the left side of the map. So the question is how far? Because the map is fairly big, so somewhere in this area. <laughs> We're looking at uh, a magnet. Oh yeah, I forgot we were gonna go after these. So I think we will go check, look, go looking for the magnet in just a minute. I do want to try and get. Mm, we'll go see about this one, and then definitely this one. I don't know if we'll be able to get this one that's up here. But yeah, let's go after this salvage at the moment. Oops, zoomed way out. So I want to say. Uh, oh yeah, there's a cliff here. Mm, let's see if we can go down it. I'm guessing it's... Oh. Repair? There we go. It's definitely over here in this lake. I don't know if you guys can see that. I wonder if any of these lakes are protected. Like if there's any... Oh yeah, I was like, what's going on here? Um, okay, well. F and B. Oh, yeah. No, we'll go over here. <laughs> we'll just swim. I love that you have just a little avatar. Do we look cool? Do we run out of air? Zoom out. Oh, and as you guys can see, I did uh, change our color scheme. There we go. Kind of felt like for a second there I was being held back. Small modular wing. Okay. Okay, it's a little bigger than what I want to deal with. And I don't think we do not have a vehicle that's uh, built to go from land to sea to everything, right? Or to water. So, we'll worry about that one later. At least we know it's here and we've discovered it so we can see it on the map. And it'll tell us that uh, the modular wing is there. Now, I did build a vehicle in the background. I was like, you know what? I need to make something that's... I'm going to make it easy to transport blocks um, and something that looks at least half decent. So I did make this guy. Uh, how do we get out of it? There we go. So pretty much I just made a front end loader. It's not super fast, but uh, as you guys can see, got it. Uh, what are we at here? So we have six out of seven power cores down here. I do have the large engines uh let's just go here so i know the exact name of them the the raw engines we have four in here because each one picks up two so there's yeah six yep makes right sounds right and then uh i do have oh i guess i should stay in steer or in the build beam here so our steering is right here there's two hinges so it's just uh they pivot off of that and then i did go with pistons in the front here they're not set to anything. There is no button to, uh, or hotkey to make them go in and out. I just have them on there because they kind of look cool. And then hinges on the, or the large hinge for both sides here so that when I hold down space, we lift up the front of the bucket. And then hopefully, you know, we have something in the bucket to uh, carry back to one of our drones, which is right there, which is huge. Okay. Hopefully we have enough run up here. Uh, oh, we're losing speed. Oh, okay. Well, we'll let this hopefully blow up. No. Uh, if we backspace though, I uh, just put us right back at the bottom. Okay. So what we need to do also is, you know, I. I think if we actually put the weight here, when we go over that jump, it'll nose up, and hopefully, we'll make the whole jump. And if we do break, at least uh, hopefully we break on the other side. Mm. Got some good umph going here. <laughs> 
<laughs> I just love how we wipe out. Okay. Okay, you can stop at any second here. I probably just let it go a little too long. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was a little worried it was going to get even more violent, and then uh, we, wouldn't, <laughs> we wouldn't be able to stop at all, and it was just going to kind of shoot us off the map. Okay, what is this? This has to be something good, because it's fairly big. Slim wheel. Okay, R... 4? Uh, okay. We might be able to... help steer this one if we're fast enough. You know what I mean? Like, hopefully there's some massive, oh, giant wheels in this game later on because these things are huge. Well, actually, if we chase it up that cliff, it might actually roll back down on top of us. That's okay. Who needs, who needs four wheels, right? Well, apparently we do. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we got that one. That one's nice and easy. Now, what's this one? Can we see it from this distance? I honestly didn't think it'd be that easy to... Alright, fine. Uh, wants to be that way, we will go with the race car. Okay. I honestly couldn't tell you what happened there, but... <laughs> I love the mechanics in this game sometimes. Ah, uh, and that's right, the weight's different. Oh, we should have saved it when we had the other engine on there, but that's... Oh, that's okay for now. Oh, completely missed that. Repair. Okay, so we just need to get rid of this weight. Again. And actually, let's go, yeah, delete, delete. Kind of seems like it's a good, like a happy medium with a mix of the engines, right? Just because, like, those small ones, I can't remember what their names are yet. Uh, we do need to hold weight. <clears throat> weight in the back of this. But the small engines seem to obviously help us gain speed right off the bat. And then the, the large engine uh, helps us more or less maintain higher top speeds because we're still increasing speed as we're going up here hmm truck wheel okay i'm all about another type of wheel so we'll just aim for this one like a nice transition there 70 80 90 we need to go faster than 90 why is our engine smoking hmm build beam what do we got okay one more engine Oh yeah, and just so you guys know, when I was messing around with building kind of the Tonka truck there, as you guys can see, I got the flat connector one by one, flat connector one by three, and flat connector one by two. I believe that was it. 
Yeah, we just got the new wheel. Relatively poor grip and high and speed, but very lightweight. Okay, well, we'll see what it's all about. Just need the back end, just the, or the front end, just to lift up just a little bit. Come on, hit it. Yeah. Come on, roll off, roll off. That's okay. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> That's all we wanted. Okay, what's going on here? Yeah, it's going to be interesting to learn all of these different engines, like... Engine slash wheels and stuff like that, but the engines, it seems like, yeah, the best practice is a mix of multiple different kinds. Truck wheel unlocked. Okay, let's see how big this truck wheel is. Large wheel with good overall grip. How large is this wheel? It's not huge. It's not bad. It's definitely not, uh... Actually, it's pretty close to the monster truck wheel, right? All right, you guys. It seems like it's taken forever for daylight to come, but uh, I just built a small boat for us. Um, I did start with the pontoons underneath the boat, but it, it just liked to keep uh, actually flipping the boat over. So it seems like the best way to put the pontoons for the moment is definitely on the sides. Um, I do have weight blocks on the bottom here just to make sure that this remains the bottom and... Uh, Kind of evens us out that's why i have them so close to the front because obviously the engines in the back here uh cause some weight but uh you know it's it's a nice little little boat nothing too crazy uh but should get us to where we need to go uh what i do need to do though just for aesthetics here look like this put some lights on it uh Where'd you go? Yeah, that should look good. All right. Yeah, I'm happy with that. But yeah, we are going to head over this way. I don't know where, but uh, yeah, this thing moves pretty quick, pretty good. And as you guys can see on the very back here, I just have it on a hinge uh, to, uh, for my steering. And I what was it went into the key bindings and I reversed the, the hinge. So that when I actually push, you know, A, we actually turn A, and D, we turn, or, what would you say? When I press A, we turn left, and when we when I press D, we turn right. Uh, if you don't go and change that, it, they're actually opposite um, when, you're dry, when you're going through here, right? It'll turn the opposite ways. So, either way, uh, I'm really kind of curious as to what we're going to find while we're out here. Alright, so in the middle of the ocean here, we just have a bunch of blocks that's another wedge so that one and this one are both wedges but yeah hopefully this magnet is as good as i'm hoping it will be um it should be like it'll just be up to my imagination to create something that's good uh, okay it looks like we have a couple of blocks on here i know we're not to the left of the map oh wow so you're telling me this was shallow water over here okay but, uh, yeah, we'll check out this island, see what... Yep. Uh, what do we want to switch to? Let's go to the loader. The only reason I want to go to the loader is because it's a little bit slower. Oh, what was that? Which it's a power core, right? Hold on. Where is tractor beam? Okay, so I'm guessing that's the magnet. All right, I can deal with this. I think all we need to do is go off there, hit that, knock it down in there. Boom! Tractor beam. Okay, perfect. Well, let's see what this thing does. Tractor beam attracts metals. Metal objects only attracts when active, and it has a cost beside it. I wonder what the one means. Don't put one like this. Is it a power core? Oh, it is too. But the tractor beams actually require a pack uh, yeah. power core. That's uh, different. 
We definitely have some other blocks up here that I bet you have to use the tractor beam for, right? Tail fin. Okay. Do we not already have a tail fin? Not that it really matters, I'm just kind of curious. I thought we did. And what is this one? Okay, well. Power core, okay. Let's just double check here real quick. Yeah, so it's just the two left on this island. And let's see. Oh, you just hit the button once and it just automatically just keeps pulling. Works for me. All right, got the power core back in and the tail fin. All right, so let's take a look at the tail fin. We had, okay, so we got the small, a small tail fin before and then we just got this one provides aerodynamic drag and direction stable, stability. There we go. Okay, cool, cool. So. I don't think we have like the best water stuff yet, but I want to go to this island. That's where we started. I want to go to the island that's actually right in front of us here. Let's head over there. By the way, the tractor beam, phenomenal. You turn it on, pulls it into the bucket, you lift the bucket, keeps pulling, you just go away, right? Or you drive to the drone. Another wedge, eventually. No radar blips though, huh? I was gonna say, I still don't understand why we keep rolling. But, uh... Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Welding calculating physics? Huh, I just noticed that. Okay, so what's up here? Okay, now, we're, now the radar is popping. The tab, where is it? 167 meters. Kind of have a feeling it's like just at the top of this hill, but... And what's with all the trees? <laughs> oh, that was it? Actually, that's what we should take a look at, too. There has to be something else up here. Okay, now it says there's two, so yeah, there's definitely another one up here. Repair. All right, somehow, or yeah, somehow it's up on that ledge, or up on the ridge, the very tip top of the mountain, and we're not gonna be able to get there. Yeah, these wheels are better. And the fact that uh, when we hit the ground, we didn't die right away. I like them. I wonder if there's shock absorber <laughs> absorbers in the game, or shocks. Eh. Notice there's no chickens running around here either. Oh, look at the size of this one. Yeah, see the small engines seem to work really well at the very, like, when you first take off. And then the large engines, obviously the raw engines, are the ones that kind of have, once you get up to speed, they can hold you there. Simple tail fin. What's with the flight blocks? Mm, okay. What do we need? Number four. Where are we? Let's say we're nowhere close to where we were. <laughs> All right, and I think, yeah, we have two potential power cores. 
So what we'll do is we'll actually... What do I want to do? Delete that and go... Like that. It's not what I want to do, but that's potentially... Oh yeah, didn't set a hotkey to them. Like, why isn't it working? Uh, configure. Or not copy, configure. And... Okay. Yeah. All right, let's take it back. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm full out in reverse and it's barely moving, so. Hmm. You know, potentially, we'll just reset it real quick. Yeah, whatever, go over there. Anyways, <laughs> what we'll do is we'll go uh, copy paste. Paste. And then what we also want to do is... Where is it here? Why is it every... Like, look at these blocks. They're a different color than these ones. I don't know what's going on with the game. Do I think we'll be able to pick it up? Mm, no. Yep, see, it's still... Four times heavier than us. But we can control it. All we need to do is find a drone. Wow, it's still that. It's just that heavy. At least we're wide enough so it shouldn't. Um... Wow. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to go for a ride here, you guys. But yeah, it shouldn't control us too much. Like, it's not going to make us roll. Hopefully there's a drone down here. That's on this island. I know we passed one on the way in, right? That's probably where we gotta go. Oh, there we go. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, I'm just going to back up here a little bit. We're going to add more weight here. It looks like we're just about there. So, anybody see any smoke anywhere? Oh, I'm not letting go. <laughs> nope, nope. Uh, do we have the power, you think, to make it up that hill? I think that's our closest drone right there. Oh, there's one up there, too. Oh, yeah, that's right at the top of this hill. Wait, there was one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, well, this is working. We're going along. Okay. We're almost there. Oof. That's just for a tail fin, like. This block is a crucial part of your spaceship. All right, definition. Look at all of the blocks down there. That looks like there's some tokens more than anything. There's a massive block there or a salvage there. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode, you guys. So if you guys like the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.